All right, guys, we got a brand new generator from Polaris. We're gonna take this to the garage, open it up and show you why you need a generator for all your outdoor activities. If you're an outdoorsman 365 days out of the year, odds are at some point you're gonna need a generator. Generators are great whether you're deer hunting, you're at a remote location, you're fishing, you may be into a camp or you're being at a campsite where you don't have access to electricity. They provide you with clean, quiet power, they're light. You can hook up a number of devices. And more importantly, when you're out there enjoying the great outdoors, you don't have a noisy generator. Okay, it's time to open this baby up. Probably the most important thing that most guys will maybe look at is the quick start guide. That kind of gets you headed right down the, the right path to start your generator. Here is your warranty registration card. Make sure you fill that out. Uh, these are very reliable, but you never know. It's always nice to have the warranty in place on any of that power equipment. Requires oil before operating. All right, once you get everything unpacked, go through the packing list, make sure you have all the components that you need to get this generator going. Even though you have the quick start guide, use your manual, lots of good information. So first use instructions, that's what I wanna look at. That tells us how to put the oil, check everything out, make sure we've got the right lubrication in it and we've got the proper fuel in it, and then we'll start it up. We've got the oil in it, we fueled it up, now we're gonna pop open the garage door, take it outside and fire it up. Okay, we got the fuel on, I'm gonna choke it. Little lever there, pull it over a couple times. There you go. Brand new out of the box, basically one pull and it's running. Now you can see it's pretty cold out. Obviously we live up here in the North Woods. We're gonna put the cold weather kit on it now. So when we take it out, we're using it on the wheelhouse when it's cold at the cabin, what have you. We know it's gonna run pretty efficiently in cold weather, so. All right, there's a few things you gotta do to put the uh, cold weather kit on. It's a heater tape that wraps around the breather tube. Pretty easy to do, it just takes a little time. You gotta take the four bolts off the cover, remove the gas cap, and then basically follow the instructions, which is pretty simple, putting the flexible heater tape around the breather tube. So we'll do that. Now that we got the heat tape on the breather tube, we're gonna remove the front panel, so then we can hook up the electrical fittings so the heat tape is operating. Fairly simple instructions. We're gonna route this through so we can get it over to the front of the control panel. Got that there, bring that down, bring it on the back side. And basically we'll take one of these leads here, either one, doesn't make a difference, and we'll connect it to the positive side on the control panel here. So we'll loosen this up with a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I take that, I slide that on like that. Okay. Before you put it back together, just double check to make sure you got everything right and everything's connected. So it appears to be that way. So we're gonna reassemble the unit and it'll be good to go for cold weather. You wanna have a generator because at some point in time, whether you're charging your boat batteries, running your electrical source for your wheelhouses on the ice, maybe it's a duck camp or a deer camp, a generator is a great tool to bring the convenience of home to wherever you're at in the great outdoors.